welcoming folks in like that for over a hundred years on this very corner in Waverly, New York. It's such a cool thing. It's a beautiful foyer. People have been able to come here and encounter community and encounter Christ like never before. And we've been excited to be able to reach out to them. One of the things we did a number of years ago, right outside of this door, we put a lift in to get people in from the outside uh, up to this level so they can come in. One of the downfalls that we have is that there's no handicapped accessible bathroom for them once they get in here. So our big project for 2018 is that we're going to put a handicapped accessible bathroom right here. This right now is just a stairwell going up to a partially used storage space. And then a storage space that's in here that's clearly not used that well. We've done some measurements. We've got together with some folks. We actually have enough room if we demolish all of this stuff here, we can put in a new wall and a doorway that we can not only welcome handicapped uh, people into the church, but that we can provide full facility for them. And that way they can continue to encounter community and continue to encounter Christ. Let's go downstairs. A lot of times, small churches have stairs everywhere. We have to go upstairs to get to the sanctuary. We have to go downstairs to get to classrooms, fellowship halls. But more importantly, we have to go downstairs to get to the only restrooms that are in the building. So like a lot of projects that God has us working on in our lives, sometimes the inner work, the, the underlying work, that's where we're at. So we've already begun part of the project to put that bathroom in is that we have to dig up the men's room. And as you can see, we got a big hole here, and this is not going to be a baptismal, I promise you. But what we're doing is we're adding new pipe in, so that way when we put the bathroom upstairs above this, we can get the plumbing down to here and out. So we're really excited about this project. This is our big project for 2018. Congregation is already starting to get excited, and as you can see, work is already beginning. There's ways that you can help also. Be praying for us. We really need your prayers through this. It takes a lot of wisdom. It takes a lot of people to bring things like this together, and, and we're excited about that. So please be praying for us. Also, we're going to need a lot of volunteers. My mom has always said, many hands make light work. We need help. There's going to be a lot of cleaning throughout the stages. There's dust and everything already. Uh, we need help cleaning throughout the stages. So if you can come, even on a Saturday, and just give a few hours, maybe once a month or so, just to help clean up as progress goes, that'd be great. Aside from praying, aside from cleaning, and, and maybe just helping to move some of all of these rocks and things that have to be moved, if you can also help to financially support this. This is a big project for us. This is the big project of 2018. It's going to take a lot of money as well. And, and we've kind of given some preliminary estimates together, and it's, it's more than we have in the bank right now. So if you can help, please reach out to us. Let us know. You can either private message us or reach out to myself or someone in leadership, and uh, we'd like to get you partnered in with this as well. So thanks, and God bless, and be praying for us, guys.